Namaste everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here we will talk about a Django DRF application that is Django REST Frameworks application wherein we have used Swagger. So what Swagger helps you and how is it different from a DRF interface that's what we're going to talk about over here. Uh, and I will show you the difference with a basic application, right, which has been created through DRF. Okay, so let's dive into the tutorial and check out the functioning of the application. And also later on in the video, I will discuss the code of the application with you. And in case you come across any issues while designing or developing these kind of applications, I would request you to just reach out to me on the number which I'm going to put in the description section. But before diving into the tutorial and explaining you the in and out of the project, uh, let me show you uh, the things I have got for you on my YouTube channel today. So there are tutorials related to full stack development. There are tutorials on Django, right? We have tutorials on KVMD on my channel, which is used for uh, developing mobile applications as you guys know then there are power bi lectures there are cloud computing tutorials there are <coughs> number of tutorials on android applications and desktop applications also which can be designed easily through uh, you know libraries like tkinter right and kiwi there are tutorials in javascript as you can see there are tutorials uh, related to data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and things related to that. And if you are a Python developer or you have a passion for learning Python and you have a passion for coding, then I should, I don't think that you are gonna miss this uh, playlist that I've created, uh, you know, giving several hours uh, to my YouTube channel, giving several hours to the YouTube editing and everything. So there are number of tutorials, there are 85 videos as you can see here in this playlist and if you will see the projects, I, I, I think you're going to like each of them a lot, right? So and if you are a game developer, you are a game player, right? So this is a playlist for you. Then we have mobile application development also using JavaScript. We have web lab on code.org for kids right and you know thunkable projects are there so there are number of things that you can learn on my youtube channel that you can you know explore on my youtube channel if you don't know what all things you can develop using coding then i think you should come and visit the videos uh, which i've put on my youtube channel and i'm i'm sure that they are going to give you a lot of confidence a lot of motivation and they will direct you uh, you know to a path wherein you can uh, see what all things you should learn to become a good coder and in case you find it still difficult you feel free to let me know about it please whatsapp me your queries please reach out to me any time of the day whenever if in case i'm not i'm not free i'm definitely going to let you know about it and we can have a discussion after you know uh, when whenever i get free okay so this is about my YouTube channel. Let's come on the application. So this is how the Swagger platform looks like. So as you guys know, DRF uh, is for, uh, you know, if you have a database, right? Let me just show it to you once. So with this Django, we get a database, right? And its name is SQLite 3. Now we have a table over here named note models and as you can see I have an object created over here its title is Zabinav content sing and category is close. Now I want to make CRUD operations I want to perform CRUD operations on this table. I can do it very easily through Swagger as well as through DRF interface how DRF interface looks like. Let me show you that too. So for accessing that for this particular application, I'll have to use this API. Uh, then we have nodes. Okay. So this is going to redirect us to the DRF interface, right? This is how it looks like. 
Now let's say you want to get something from the table that I just showed you. Fine, so you can simply click here on get and this is what we have in the table, right? This is what I just showed you. Now you want to post something, you want to add something to the table. So that too you can do very easily. So you just have to put a title over here. Let's uh, do it right away. So let's take a swagger jacket and content it's a great jacket which looks awesome and then category is clothes okay so this is what i want to add to that table let me just post it okay so i successfully added the details to the table as you can see i got the details right away from the table okay let me show you the table also now whether we have the information in the table or not so as you can see another object has been created by the query and this is what we have inside it right so uh, you know that's how we can perform crud operations uh, using the rf panel likewise you can also do uh, deleting you can also do uh, you know the updation things fine you can update the records present in the table you can delete the records also but we are not going to do it from this drf panel now we are going to make use of the swagger for that okay so let's check it out how it works so when you add a swagger in your url list file like this fine so you get a swagger interface okay which looks like this and here you get to see these options so as you know get is used for getting the details from the table if you want to post something you can use post then for patching uh, you know we can use this uh, patch named option so it's basically for updating the records and for deleting we have a delete button over here so let's do it let's perform a get operation first we have already done it uh, through DRF, but let's see whether we'll be able to do it through this or not. Uh, okay, I'm trying to find out the correct option. Okay, so this is the one, try it out. Let's click it and here we can see we have a button named execute. Let's execute the query. Okay, so I got the results from the table and as you can see, there are two records present in the table, which I uh, just got using that you know get request which i fired through the swagger interface let's come down and let's check out the second option which is post let's see whether we'll be able to post anything in the table or not so we have uh, this interface over here which uh, is showing us some you know dictionary so let's add a title i would like to add my own name gaurav content uh, so i am a coder and category is mail let me just add the content fine i added the content successfully and i got the result also wow fine so let me check it out in the table also uh, okay it says it is showing us two records only why let me see why okay CRF, csrf token missing or incorrect Fine, I think the result hasn't got updated successfully or added successfully. Let me just try it one more time. So if I do execute again, uh, okay, let me refresh it once. Let's try it another time or let's just refresh this table also. So we have only two records uh, till now. Let's try and post something in the database, try it out title let's change it to something else to title this time is going to be hmm, what should it be okay t-shirt or red t-shirt or let's make it red tape shoes these uh, are red in color and here we are going to add a category so it's going to be shoes Okay, let's hit the execute button and this time we got a success status. Okay, so I think 
we successfully uh, modified the table and here we have the details okay so we successfully added the records let's come down and let's do some updation so try it out so what it will do uh, you know here you will see title content and category again so here you'll have to put the id of the uh, you know record you want to update so i would like to update the content of this uh, record which I just added so I would like to I'll have to copy the ID of the record first which I will have to put it here and then I can change it like this so here I'm going to put uh, the uh, red tape okay so let it be red tape earlier it was something like red tape shows right if I'm not wrong here I'm going to change the content also for this so these are red shoes with black head okay and here it's gonna be shoes only let's execute the query and I think I updated the record successfully yes so we have a success message over here let's check it out in the models uh, the red tape these are red shoes with black head so you know I think the spelling of shoes is not correct here let me save it fine so the patch also worked for us let me copy this id and check if i can delete it from the table or not using the delete option so i'll have to pass the id over here All right and let's execute okay and let me see if uh, this records have got deleted or not yeah so records have been the record has been successfully deleted you know so that's how the swagger makes it easier for you to perform all the types of queries on your tables right so crud uh, crud operations if you want to perform easily then swagger is one of the options you can make use of it it's very easy to add to any drf uh, application Right, I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. Thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial. Bye-bye, take care and have a great, great day ahead, guys.